if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that like and sub button. It means a lot. If you follow my Twitch, it is in the description of the video. Um, today, or now, well, whenever this video gets uploaded, because I like doing all the videos at once, which isn't always the best decision, to be honest, but it's best. I, I like doing it. You know, I just wish I was moved out by now, which I can't talk about yet. Um, eventually, I will probably, but just not yet. Um, anyways, we're going to be mentioning uh, this person named Jessica. Obviously, like I said, not their real name. Also, did I even do an intro? If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to hit. I mean, obviously you are, but hit that link and sub out. It means a lot if you want to Twitch. It's always in the description of the video. Um, back to what I was saying, though. Um, we're going to be talking about Jessica, which is, like I said, not a real name. But, um, basically, um, me and Jessica were together in seventh grade, um, or at least for a little while. Um, now, this relationship, I was very, very clingy. Um, I remember this is probably one of my most clingy relationships ever. Not clingy as in, like, you know, um, I think it was more romantically clingy. Like, I wasn't, like, saying, oh, you can't hang out with your friends or anything like that. That's, that I've never done. But, um, uh, what I mean is, I would like, I would want to be, like, more, like, with her more, like, uh, hanging out or whatever. But we never really hung out outside of school, so I think that was the reason why there. But, um, I was really dumb back then, romantically. <laughs> Still am. Um, <laughs> but, uh, actually, this relationship used was really fine, honestly, at the end of the day. Like, yeah, it hurt. She actually broke up with me to date my ex-best friend from the, the same story of my fifth grade one. Yeah, I know. Crazy. <laughs> Just, oh, man. It doesn't surprise me. I even told, um, I actually hung out with her, uh, like a month ago, um, a month or two ago, and we were good friends now, um, because I didn't hate her when she broke up with me. I actually hated the guy, though, <laughs> but then again, I never, like, you know, liked him after what he did before, but, um, yeah, they ended up dating, um, for, like, a little bit, at least, and I remember that, <laughs> I remember like really hurt again obviously and then you know um somebody had a crush on me at the time uh i didn't make up a name for her so i'm not gonna say her name i'm just gonna say her you know but she um uh, you know she liked me a lot and i just didn't i didn't i didn't care and that hurt honestly <laughs> like I, I was like yo i just i can't you know and i knew i couldn't which is i guess a good thing but i don't know it just sucked back then but that was just a really small uh, relationship. But I'm friends with her now, so we're good. But there was, like, only one other uh, relationship that was, eh, like, it sucked, but we're fine. Um, anyways, we're going to now talk about... This one is a hard one. Um, so, you know what, I'm going to do it. Um... Her name is Julie, not a real name. Um, this is hard. Um, uh, she, me and her started dating uh, near the end of my seventh grade. Um, I was in a relationship with her for about eight months, probably around there, something like that. Eight, seven months, somewhere around there. I don't remember the exact dates. ADHD is terrible when looking back through years sometimes. Um, but um, we were in a relationship. I remember I didn't have a lot of confidence in the relationship. We were a distant relationship. <sighs> you know, people feel which way and that way, you know, like a bunch of different ways for distant relationships. But um, anyways, back to the thing. She was... Um, somebody who, like, actually really mattered to me a lot, though. Um, I didn't love her, um, but she mattered to me a lot. Um, and I remember, though, we got a fight, uh, actually over a, um, a guy that was flirting with her. Um, I remember this, and 
like we would game together and stuff like growing up um but there was like another guy that started flirting with her and she kind of just fought me over it and i was just like yeah it's not okay but you know um and she did that and that sucked but uh i like i said i still cared about her quite a lot and then she um she passed away and um she got in a car accident um and that was the uh baseline of what happened but um i remember in school um i would just pretend you know everything was okay um when it really wasn't and then there was multiple times where um romantically or not romantically but like my friendships um would like be really shitty obviously as usual which really didn't help you know my future friendships but she ended up um being really important you know and I remember um I I've lied about the situation a lot in the past um, mostly because I didn't want to talk about it or I wanted to make up a story so that we wouldn't be focused on the main issue which I blamed myself so I think like secretly like on the inside I blamed myself but on the outside I said this happened or that happened you know but in reality I blamed myself and I just didn't tell anyone I kept it all inside um, but it happened and I mean I know it wasn't my fault now but it you know it hurt me that bad that I just felt like it was my fault like it just hurt quite a lot um, and it was definitely an issue that uh really hurt and like if anyone knows like even just losing somebody maybe not even a loved one it can affect them quite a lot um i've i there's another person i just remembered to even mention on the list i'm kind of depressed that i didn't to be honest but uh i'll get to that actually i'll talk about it now um there was another person that uh, i dated um, it was the summer after freshman year, which I have a relationship in freshman year I'll talk about, but, uh, it was in the summer. It wasn't a long, um, well, no, actually, it was my sophomore year towards the end, which means that there's two other relationships in between, but, um, my sophomore year, uh, it was near the summer, if not the summer, um, and what ended up happening was, was in a relationship with somebody who I don't have a name made up because I didn't want to talk about it necessarily. Well, I didn't. I don't know. My mind kind of blocked the name um, out of my brain, I guess. Um, but this relationship, uh, well, let's just say it wasn't the worst thing when it was like a relationship. But then I was broken up with and I was like really confused. But then everyone else was around me was telling me she was playing games with my mind saying that I I guess cheated on her um I didn't I don't know how I would <laughs> like I really don't um like the school I went to was not like if you know it, it doesn't make sense and the the main guy that I guess told her probably want her wanted to have you know what with her and have his way because he's done this before um, to other people, not necessarily to me. Uh, but he's hated me. He, uh, when I made music, he used to laugh in the hallways um, while listening to it with other people. Um, which, whatever, right? You can have your way, but don't do that shit in front of me. You're a loser if you do, and you know it. And that's why he's a loser. But. Anyways, he ended up cheating on a lot of his girlfriends, even at the same time, uh, which made me think that he probably slept with my girlfriend at the time, um, most likely, uh, but he would lie and say that I slapped girls' asses during school, which, 
how would I get away with that? Like, that makes zero fucking sense at all. Like, it's it's stupid. Like, and the, the fact uh, is, she actually ended up, I don't know if she ended up believing it right away, but she did. Um, she can't, she t called me while streaming too. And it was like, first off, I don't have any, like, I didn't really talk to anybody while I was streaming, you know, like I still don't, <laughs> you, you can see me maybe look at my phone every 20 seconds, but there's nothing on it. <laughs> like 99% of the time, uh, there might be a Twitter notification, but other than that, there's really nothing, you know, um, I don't talk to anybody now and I still didn't back then. And I wasn't, um, I was very, uh, like, really messed up in this relationship, because I did feel like I was being used in different ways, and I don't know if it was all a game, um, you know, and it might be, it might have been a game, you know, that, that I think about it, because this guy was a really big douche to a lot of people I knew. And I realized that he did a lot more fucked up shit that I didn't even find out until years later. Um, there's an R word I can't use that he did. So I'm pretty sure he is uh, pretty fucked in the head. Um, excuse my language, but uh, yeah, I, I really, it was really fucked up uh, what he has done. Uh and what I'm sure he still probably would do if he's not out. Um, I don't think he is. But it's uh, pretty messed up. And he's gotten away with quite a lot like throughout history. So honestly, he deserves... Obviously, he deserves for the action. But I honestly think he deserves even worse. Like, longer period of time in jail and things like that. Because what he did was not okay. Um, he, he, like, what he did to me wasn't okay what he did to other people wasn't even okay and he still did it anyway because he doesn't give a he doesn't give a crap about what he does to other people and that hurt me like a lot when i found out a lot of the stuff he's done in the past and like during this time even um he dated one of my uh well people i was talking to but i like we were flirting but we weren't like you know before uh probably middle school uh maybe my eh, maybe my late freshman year but um i didn't really know him personally um but honestly i think you can know somebody personally based upon what they do in life for example everything he did so i'm pretty sure he um probably slept with my ex you know um at that time um but some time had passed. Um, I've been, I moved on from the relationship. I was going on dates, uh, you know, with this one girl. Um, I don't want to give her a name because not important to the thing. But I went on a date with her, uh, and this is shortly after that ex uh, passed away, also in a car accident. Um, uh, and this was maybe a week before her funeral. Um, or maybe just a few days before her funeral. And I remember in, uh, we were going to, uh, we went out to eat a little bit. We ch relaxed. Um, and we just kind of chilled and talked and played basketball. And it was fun. But, um, what ended up happening after that, uh, she left and I kind of stayed there the rest of the day. Uh, I had one of my friends come, come later, but, not yet, and I remember listening to music on my phone, headphones in, bl blasting in, just chilling at the wall, you know, just breathing, and I was on Facebook, and I read the funeral information, and I remember breaking down completely, and it definitely hurt me quite a lot, and I remember that, like, a lot, like, like, and, and it like even after everything happened I remember like praying like I didn't really I don't really I don't know if I believe in anything I just I don't know I'm just like somebody has to be listening or something I don't know but what ended up happening um, was I would pray and I would be like 
you know, I would, you know, asked for her to, like, talk to me or something, like, being like, hey, I never did this, you know, like, I remember that, that it was, I would just, like, I would close my eyes and just be like, you know, I'm sorry, uh, you know, I never did anything, but I don't know, um, it hurt me thinking that, you know, that it was at the wrong time, uh, because before everything, about, like, two weeks before she died, um, there was a point where she told me to, uh, KYS, um, without saying the words, um, and obviously I'm a, de you know, I'm depressed still, um, you know, during this time, obviously, and then, um, two weeks, I, I literally told her, hey, you're gonna keep, you're gonna keep up with that, um, you know, I'm gonna call the police, and I, I did, I actually don't regret this, um, basically what had happening was police went to her house, talked to her mom, and I didn't want her to get in, like, serious trouble or anything, but I still think that she shouldn't have done that, and that did teach her quite a lot, um, but at the same time, it didn't matter because two weeks later, she was drunk um, with her friends. Uh, and they were driving and they crashed into like a, I think it was a snowbank or something like that. And they weren't wearing their seatbelts. And there was, it was a whole thing on that. I remember because I, I read the news thing of it and I was just like, damn. Um, but... Yeah, uh, people sometimes, like, back then, or at least, like, every so often, somebody would ask me, oh, did you know this person? I'm like, yeah, I did. Uh, that's, you know, <laughs> that was the situation. Uh, you know, and and back then, honestly, like, I would pretend it didn't affect me, like, uh, t in front of people, at least. But uh, it did. It really did. And it hurt losing somebody that, I mean, like, I didn't lose them, you know, because I already have, wasn't my fault, I, you know, I didn't say, I literally said, you know, I didn't do this, and they didn't believe me, and that was their choice to not believe me, you know, you didn't trust me, which you trusted somebody who literally probably, I'm pretty sure, you know, slept with them, so, yeah, it, it definitely was really shitty when they told me that, um, because I never did, and even my friends from school literally said it, um, and, yeah, and this guy, the, the guy that did everything, he was kind of a, he was kind of a bitch, I'm gonna be honest, he, like, for me, obviously, if he would have fought me, I would have lost the fight, I'm not gonna lie, but, he would be doing all the stuff behind my back, like, you know, like the music thing, um, and I had people that would literally pretend to be his friend um, be, to see what he says about me. Um, and there was some really, really bad stuff um, that was just not normal for a person to be saying. Like, it, it, like threaten, threats and stuff like that just because, like, oh, um, I dated this person. Oh, this person's my ex. Oh, um, you know, fucking, oh, I like this girl, or they like me. And it was, it was definitely a really shitty position I was in, uh, at the school. It really sucked. I'm just glad I went homeschool my last year, even though I wish I went, you know, years late, earlier, but it was not good for me. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much the end of this story. I think I'll call this video, like, used. Because I really feel used in a lot of... Well, no, I shouldn't because... Well, no, because the other ones I got to talk about are more... More, um... I mean, like, I'm used in one of them, sure, but these ones, it's like... Should I call it mind games? Because people use mind games on me? I think that's more of a better term. Um... But, anyways, I want to talk more into it, but 
uh, mind gaming is just very shitty for like different things and there's like other things that has happened to me in the past that like were mind games and stuff and I I I, I mean this is another thing like I I still blame to myself for that too um, even though I knew it wasn't my fault like I said it affected me in a big way because people perceived me um, in in light of somebody who didn't know me it did never never had said anything to my face um, and that kind of hurt honestly because things have happened uh, later on that I don't want to talk about because it's bad and it was just people being really shitty to me and like very bad um, and it was it was stressful um and just being used by so many different people hurt a lot and um i think that is uh the end of this video just cuz i don't i don't know what else to talk about in this video cuz i don't want to make it too long um and i think i want to record one or two more uh but that's all i got to talk about uh thank you for watching Hit that like and sub button, it means a lot. If you want to follow my Twitch, it is in the description of the video. Um, I apologize for tearing up, but um, I needed to make these videos, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, like I said, thank you for watching.